Okay, let's build our front page of our Subtrio e-commerce site. So um, we planned it first, seeing what we want on there. And then I came in here and um, I, I, I actually did it all already. Sorry, but I'm going to walk you through all of it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to walk you through everything. All right. Okay. Up here is um, a header and we have this saved so that we can put it on every single one of our e-commerce um, pages. Okay. Because there's still a checkout. There's still um, the product page, all that. So I have the name, I have my little image, blog, portfolio, Facebook, membership. You do not have to color this up here. I'm just a bright person, so I'm going to color it. Okay. So that is the header. Um, and then right here is I just put who I am. Of course, I'm going to rock this um, because that is my in to people to know that I do know what I'm talking about. So, you know, um, you can put whatever you want here. Um, you could put like an opt in, a freebie, all that. So, that is an option right here. Um, so then my next thing is, is grab my freebies because I can't put my freebies up in the um, e commerce store because they, they're, it's just not designed like that. Okay. So I do want people, um, to grab a freebie while they're here. So I, I put a couple and what I did. Okay. So right here, um, I needed a divider. So I just, um, to be very honest, all this is, is a headline. See a headline. And then I cut, I did the background color. That is it. That's all I did. And, um, of course, put a little emoji. And then um, I got a picture. And this is image feature. Okay. This right here, you can see image feature if I, there we go. And so it's like one image on one side and the text on the other. So I put in a, a mock-up of what uh, this product is. And I said what you'll find inside. Um, so I put the three things that, um, that they would find inside. <laughs> so, and then right here is a button and you get all these, all these orange things that I'm showing you. And when I say orange things, I mean, see all these lines. So they are up here called add element. Okay. Now, some of these, let's see here, I'm going to, I'm going to recreate um, one down here. So, um, what you, what you're going to have to do first and foremost is you're going to want to uh, click on the plus sign. You are going to want to add one column. So you're going to add, you want to add a row. So the one column, two columns, three columns, four. So you can build all this up like this one. You can put all your um, products, whatever you want to do right here um, with these. Um, and then you will go to element and then you will grab your, um, like I was saying, this is a headline right here. That's a headline right there. And then this down here is a button. Where'd that go? Okay, right here. And then uh, this part is the image feature. And that is down here. Okay, and there's dividers, stuff like that. Social icons, I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, you can also put instead of a button for them to go to um, a new page, which I might change in a little bit. But you can just put a form for one of your freebies right here uh, as well. Like, let's see here. Let's.
I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. All right, form. And then you would just select what form you want them to fill out. Um, let's see if it pops up. Come on. There we go. There we go. So this is, you can just put, put one in here and it's all good. You would be, you will have an opt-in right there. A lot of people will put it up here. Go for it. Okay. All right. Let's take that out. Delete. All right. But right now I have three of them and I want to, I'm actually going to add more info to this one. Um, but, um, as you can see, I have three different ones and right here, I switch the image onto this side and how you do that is there's all kinds of info right here. So it's image feature options and you can do, show you, you can do text 80, 20. You can do text 60, 40. I'm just doing 50, 50. And then um, right here, the column order is image to text or text image. So that's how you would switch them. Um, I like to I like to do that just to keep, I don't know, just it looks better to me in my eyes. And once again, just a button. And with that button, you, um, you click on it to edit. You put in whatever your whatever you want to put on the button, the call to action. And then down here where it says button actions, there's all kinds. You can do an open pop. -in. I haven't done that yet, so I'm not quite sure what that would entail. Um, website URL and then um, go to page, stuff, stuff like that. Membership. I don't know what a lot of these would do, like call or we don't want any of that. So all I want, all I did was the website URL and I put my pretty link in there or a link. Okay. And then make sure it always opens up in a new tab. You don't want them to disappear from their page. Okay. So we, so that is how you build, you know, how I built putting my freebies in. But like I said, you could just put a form and a title and they can just fill it out right there. And then I might change down the road, but you never know. Okay. And then I decided to put in a, um, YouTube. So same thing. This is a headline and I just put a background color to it. And let's see here. You can add animations. I just, I don't know if they're kind of set up the right, they, they look good, but then they, they look like they're lost sometimes. So I don't want to always see how that you can do some animation here, which is great. Let's just go ahead and keep that there like that. And then what I did is this is actually video. So I got this over here at, at elements and right here is the media video. And all you need is just the, um, YouTube URL right there. Let you put it right there under general YouTube. And then it has autoplay controls. We could do full width, which is fine. Let's see what else they offer. Three fourths widths. Let's see what that is. You know what? I think I'll keep it like that. That seems not so woo overwhelming. Okay, so that's good. All right, same with this resources, but let's animate this one as well. And I don't want it to bounce, I just want it to slide in. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to tell them, Hey, try Canva pro for 30 days. I'm going to utilize this front page for like, this is my business and this is what I do kind of thing. So, um, I have the Canva pro, I have some other tools, 
Um, I put in, of course, my subtrio, mail or light, right block, things that I use on a day to day basis. Okay. Um, and then I have the blogging to membership formula down here, the light program. Um, this is just to make affiliate money. And of course I have affiliates up here or what it says. And then my next thing, oh, and right here, since I didn't want so much, I don't know, I'm, I'm putting enough color on it. So I want to um, add a divider. So I put a row, let's see here. column, add element, and then um, dividers down here. And then you can actually change the color. So if I want to put it um, pink, yellow, let's, let's try yellow. And then um, align with height, we can um, add a little bit more to it like that. Solid, what else? Dashed. Um, dotted. Well, that doesn't look that bad, does it? Okay. And then if you, I'm going to delete that one, delete all of this. Okay. Um, and then if you need spacing, let's see here, right here is the margin. So it's like five and five. You can tell it's five and five right there. Um, but if you need more, you just type in or click on it and see how it goes down. So let's see here. I reset. I'm going to reset that. All right. So I, I like how it is here. And then um, my membership, I put my membership in here. Um, just put a little bit. I might do a little bit more work on the wording there and then the mock-up and then read more. And of course, this is... Um, clickable. I put the uh, website under button actions and read more as you can tell. And then I put my signature and then we have um, social media here. You can have icon and text. You can have just the icon or you can just have the text. Whatever works for you. And then you edit them here. I was trying to get them a little bit bigger but I they don't want to go bigger. Okay, they got a little bit bigger there. Okay. Earlier, they weren't going very well. Maybe I just didn't have it right. So that, that's really good. And then you just edit it right here. And then make sure you do new window or else um, they'll be taken away from the um, page. Okay, one more thing that I need to see. So with these links right here, uh, I'm just going to do this. I do include the nofollow because they are um, affiliate links. Okay, so just make sure you do that. Be, be honest and do that. All right, so I think I am done. Um, I do want to um copy this a couple times so let's see here i'm going to sit up i'm going to clone this and then i'm going to bring it down if i can oh i can't because it's in it's a uh in its own row okay so we'll just create another one So we had a row, a column. I just wanted one. And then I'm going to go down to divider. I'm going to pick the color, yellow. And then um, I do know that I want the height to be 10. And then dots. 
Okay, and if I do want to switch up, I can do that, which I might just do. All right. Okay, so I'm going to save it. And then let's go look at it. Okay, so this, you know, this looks nice. It looks like a full website, of course. So we have the dashboard up here. And then uh, when they click on these things, then like I have it linked to my blog. I have it linked to my portfolio, Facebook group, and membership. All right, and then here's me. Grab my freebies. Let's see here. Yep, it brought me to my freebie. All right, and I'll check all these later. You know, to be very honest, you guys, I might just take these ones off. Um, I mean, I like them and all. I'll, I'll think about it, okay? But I feel like maybe I'm making this far more cluttered than I need to be. And then um, I have the... I wish the image here would stay on here, but it's probably because, yeah, I don't, I think it's because it's autoplay. Okay. I might want to look into that and then follow me on YouTube. I'm going to make that clickable right here. So that's another thing. And then resources, try Canva Pro, and then all my, um, yep. And then all my links and I'll go ahead and check those. You don't need to come along and do all that for me. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot more space right here. So I want to change that as well. And okay, there we go. Let's go back to here and let's see here. Follow me on YouTube. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put that in there. I know it's not Canon Pro, but it's the same first one. I'm just going to put YouTube. Oh, shoot. I'm going to. Oh, man. <laughs> this is what happens when you uh, work faster than the computer, I guess. Okay, make sure you change it to new window because you always want people to go to a new window, not leave this. Okay, and this isn't a um, no follow, so we'll just put right there. And I'm going to switch out the link color, which will always be on the right-hand side here. And let's see, pink. Yep, that'll work. And then um, they can click on this and watch that. Okay, what else was I going to... Oh, this right here. There was too much space. All right. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Uh, let's go down to 20. That brings it a bit up a little. Okay, that, that works for me. That works for you. Not too crowded. All right. And then this I did put to my blog. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so um, I can do background colors on some of these, but I think at the moment I just want to put it here. Now, I might change up my um, freebies. But for right now, I think I'm just going to keep as is. We will see. Okay. Always make sure you save. And then another point. Every single time that you change something on a site, um, gosh, yeah, on a site, you need to always publish it. Every single time that you are all done. Um, because what will happen is... You've saved all of them, but you haven't published them. So um, when you go, let's say if you did not press the publish, you'll go in and you'll see all the um, 
all the things that you fixed or put in there, but if you don't hit that publish, then it's not going to do it in the background. So make sure you do that. And you can always see what the site looks like by clicking on here. So let's just go ahead. Okay, this does not look bad at all. I like that, like that, like that. Okay, so I was not um, totally upset. I think I might bring down the social media just, just a little. So let's bring that down to 30 and 30. I mean, that seems reasonable. So I'm going to save it again. And now that I'm all done, I am going to publish it. Okay. All right, then we're going to go back. And I really believe that our front page is done. So let's go ahead and look at that. You know what? One thing that I need to put on here, though. Did you see the animation there? That's kind of cute. Is um, the products. So. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Okay, so let's go back in here and um, edit. That's not what I want to do. Okay. Oh, it is. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we want to do um, shop. So we're going to put that there. Um, shop. All right, so I did categories. So go to product collection, um, digital. I'm just going to put courses there. Open in new tab, submit. Okay. So when they click on that, it should bring them to the shop. But then also, if you want to do category, um, navigation that's not what I want okay down at the very bottom there is a collection list okay and um, I want to I think I only want to do one collection so I'm going to take out this one and this one and let's see what it it puts in here for us I forgot what my collection one was all right um, and up here you can change the um, name element no right here edit I'm gonna put courses okay there we go um or if I wanted to put digital products okay and then journals 
Okay, so let's do courses and um, right here, the headline collection. So I can put courses I offer. And you can have as many columns as you want. This one has three. So that is perfectly fine. Let's advance. Okay, so there's borders. You can do shadow. Okay, so there's all kinds of different things that you can do, but I'm just kind of going to keep it basic. All right. And then if you wanted to um, continue with the same kind of concept, then um, you can go up here and go duplicate clone and then do one for the other category. So let's just see what this look, looks like. I doubt that I am going to save it like this, but we will see. I truly don't really mind that at all. So, okay. All right. And that brings us to the shop. Okay. All right. And everything's not totally connected everywhere. So that's probably why, um, I only are, is showing one. Okay. So we're going to save and remember we're going to publish. All right. I think that is good for now. Um, let's go ahead. Our next thing is product details and then we have card checkout and thank you page. Okay, so we have these two done for now, and that is pretty good. All right, thank you, and uh, next one, like I said, will be product details.